you know, as you're, you guys are selling new clients on the platform, you're going out into the, the market, trying to acquire new clients. Um, how have your sales techniques changed over the last six to nine months as you've gone out to different clients? Cause I know you've, you've had some that were like a better fit for your model than others. So what's the sales process look like for them now? That in, in, in full admission, we, I feel like we'll always be honing that, but we've, what we've really succumbed to the fact that we are not as unique as we were three years ago. Hmm. We're far more of a commodity now. Um, whether it be with other, you know, other competitors that are now in the space, cause there's a plethora of them. Um, or the fact that we just realized, look, we offer a commodity, it's delivery. It's like, it's like offering coffee. Everybody can give delivery. Um, so we're right now with our sales process, trying to hone in on a niche customer base because we're still small. And so while we're small, we have the flexibility to niche. Okay. And so we're, we're really analyzing like our current customer base and who are we serving really well and who would, if we left tomorrow, who would really feel that pain hmm. and what do we solve for them? But then not only what do we solve for them, but why do they use us? What, what is the end result with their customers that we're benefiting them from and how can we enhance that? So in delivery, we have, you know, enterprise customers where our drivers are representing them to their customer. So how can we make our representation to their customer as best as we can make it? So they'll love to use us because we make their customers happy. Okay. Um, so we're trying to figure out that that target audience, what we what's the value prop we give them and sync all our messaging towards that. 